Okay, this is my uh, test setup for the spitter for my giant spider. And what we have here is we've got an Arduino here. We got a breadboard. There's a parallax uh, PIR um, infrared motion sensor there. Uh, we have a two-way solenoid here. Uh, that's connected by one quarter inch polyethylene tubing, and that uh, one end of that goes to the air compressor. The other end of it goes up here. And uh, I have a, another tube that goes into a bucket of water here. And uh, basically the negative air pressure when the air blows will pull the water up through that tube and it will spray out like a mist. Now the code I got on here is set up so that when motion is detected, uh, it will wait a few seconds. Then it will turn on the, uh, the solenoid. Actually it will turn it on and off several times as part of a sequence before the whole thing resets. Now I still have to add some code in there to... Uh, uh, keep the thing from being triggered all the time. I don't want it to be continuously uh, re-triggered. I want it to have a little bit of uh, rest time in between. So let me plug it in here and uh, we'll watch this go. Now it'll need to initialize for a couple seconds here. Hold on. Okay. So I got several lights here. The two lights on the left uh, the the leftmost LED is uh, oh let's start with this one over here. Oops. This LED here uh, lights up whenever the PIR detects motion. Whenever the microcontroller is detecting the motion, the left LED over here lights up. The right LED means that's running the program or my sequence of events for the spider. And this LED over here corresponds to whenever the solenoid is turned on. If the LED is off, then the solenoid is off. So here's what it does. When you get motion here, that was all sequenced here. There it goes again. So the only thing I have left to do is uh, I'll have the microcontroller trigger a soundboard to play some uh, um, spider-like sound effects while it's spinning. And then that'll be it. I'll just have to mount this uh, to the bottom of the spider.